Breaking news, my friends. Hot off the presses, we've got Flash spawning here in the top center. And Snow down here in the bottom right. That's correct. Another series between Flash and Snow has just been played here in July of 2024. We're going to be taking a quick look at this to see how Flash has evolved since the last series. I'll put a link up here. If you missed that last series, definitely go and check it out. Flash has been slowly slipping back into Terran versus Protoss. He is definitely not at his former level. And he is struggling to adapt to the new meta. So who and what kind of flash are we going to see in this game? Are we going to see a dominant flash? Are we going to see a flash testing out some new builds? Are we going to see the monstrous player that we are used to seeing out of this man? Let's find out. Snow's going to find flash right away. You're going to get in there, start to harass this SCV, force another SCV off the line. Always annoying for the Terran player to deal with, but so far, Flash handling it relatively well. He does need to pull this SCV off, though, or at least get another SCV out here to repair it. Ooh, this is getting really low. He gets the first SCV. That's so painful. You can see Flash reacting a little bit slowly there, despite being at over, you know, 300 close to 350 APM. He's just struggling to deal with this guy. Everybody struggles. Everybody has a hard time against Snow, uh, especially all the Terran players. But even Zergs are having a struggle against him these days. He is so damn good. And already off to a great start here in this game. It'll be tough for Flash to try and bring this one to a win. Let's see what he's got. Looks like he might be able to catch this. Oh, it's so close. He will get it with the second Marine popping out for sure. That probe is done and dusted. There it is. He does manage to pick that off. First Zealot's coming across the map. We've got gas. We do not have range here just yet. Although there is enough money for that. I think he's going to skip right into Robo. Right on into Robo. Or is it Nexus? Well, that's interesting. Right on into Nexus with 200 gas in the bank. That's going to be spotted immediately here by Flash. Who's going to run the SUV around a little bit. Before running into the main. Pretty good plan from him. Oh! One Marine does go down. A little bit of Miss Micro there from Flash. Where is it? Where's the Robo? I don't see it. No Robo just yet. A little bit of an interesting choice there. I would have expected a robo. Okay, no, no, still no robo. He must be about to throw it down. Doing a little footsies action here at the front. There's that robo. Another dragoon gonna pop out. Trying to pick off anything that he can. Getting one marine for his trouble. Vulture's gonna sne sneak around the outside now. We've got that first tank on the way. Mine's going to start researching now. And will we see a second factory? It's kind of looking like... Oh, wait. We only have one on gas. So it shouldn't be a second factory. It should be a CC here pretty soon. But with marine and tank pressure, I think that's what we're going to have now. There's only one gateway. And the robo's not done. So we're still quite a ways away from a reaver and shuttle being out gonna send the tank out he's still making marines as you can see he's gonna rally with vultures and mines let's see what kind of damage flash can do in the early game i've seen snow deal with these pushes so incredibly well he makes it look silly occasionally they deal some damage but not very often it's usually players like sharp who can really get in there with the vultures and deal that extra bit of damage Get the mines right on top of the units that does well against uh, snow in these situations. But oh man, that's a lot of Marines. Are we going to be able to handle this as snow? At the big thing is he's still got full HP on this Zealot. That's going to take a lot of damage. He's going to pull the probes. Good snipe on the mine so far. Oh, this mine though. Oh God. Oh my good God, that mine. I think that just killed him. I think Snow is just dead because of that one mine connection. Little bit of a mistake with the micro. 
And I was just saying how Snow is so damn good at controlling in these situations. Well, he just buggered it up. And now he is just about dead. That's how close it can be. Well, that's what a, um, a difficult hold looks like. When it's not done perfectly. And that was indeed not done perfectly. He will be able to pick off this uh, vulture. And he's going to get the tank eventually. Uh, good job with the probes. But he loses another dragoon. There we go. Finally, that tank will go down. Vultures can just come across the map and keep dealing damage. So he can keep rallying these across. And it's going to be a while before Snow has enough to stop this from dealing any damage. Look, he's going to lose three probes. He's already light years behind. Another vulture rallied. That's just going to lay mines in here. Be a nuisance. Finally, it looks like we're going to stabilize here as snow. But stabilize into what? We're nine workers behind Flash right now. And Flash has done it. He's done the impossible. Or the near impossible. Which is defeat snow in the early game. And actually get a massive advantage over him. Because, without a doubt, this is next to defeat. Uh, unless the Reaver comes across the map and just dismantles Flash completely, which I don't think he'll allow to happen. Uh, because he knows that that's really the only way that he could lose this game. Flash will win. He will take this game away. We'll be watching that shuttle very closely. It's the last real Hail Mary that Snow has. As it comes into... The main base here on Apocalypse. There's a lot of empty space. You know, there's a lot of area to fly into. And he's even got the observer here to see, you know, what areas have been covered by turrets and which have not. I'm a little bit surprised to see Flash not building extra turrets at this point. He's not even building... He's building two more factories up here. Whoa. Well, that's interesting. Don't expect to see factories placed up here. And they're actually out of range of that observer. So he's hiding the fact that he's going to five fact him after this, <clears throat> which is kind of interesting. Yeah, this is this is a sneaky, smart play by Flash. You would expect to see armory and a supply depot up here, not, you know, a bunch of. Um, oh, gosh, he's already taking a ton of damage on that shuttle. Not a bunch of factories. And this might catch snow completely off guard. He's going to start the move out already. Right as the factories are finishing. He's got more supply depots on the way here. Adding on more missile turrets for the defense. There's almost nothing out on the map for snow. He's got three goons. And a shuttle. And that is it. Dropping the reaver and zealot into the main. And then get some work done on these turrets. Start to pick them off. Open up the position a little bit more. Dragoons are coming out, trying to take fights with these tanks. He's actually going to lose a few tanks here. Two tanks are going to go down. Three tanks potentially go down. This Reaver with five kills might get a whole bunch more just now. It's a good shot on that tank. Tanks have finally won the day, but I think we lost three tanks in this fight. Still, there's not many goons left over. This Reaver is doing so much damage. This is becoming a pretty crazy game. Another tank goes down. Great control from snow on both sides of the map right now he's simultaneously pulling apart the main base and he could get so many SCVs here and he's hanging on to his natural now I don't know if he can continue to hang on 12 kills oh my god another big shot there up to 17 kills now dude what if flash just built an extra turret what if you built a turret right here? What would it, what would this game look like? It certainly wouldn't be looking like this as a 17 kill Reaver. We've got more tanks coming up to the front. He's not stopping the attack. The five factory play is still pretty strong, even on one base. We still might be able to pull it off. He gets another shot off. He's not able to get any more SCVs. The real problem right now is this attack coming into his natural. So he has to deal with that pretty soon. And how will he be able to do so? Where's the Reaver now? There it is. Still in the main base. So 18 kill Reaver. Gonna start to work on some supply depots. As he adds more gateways on to his main. This is becoming a really wild game. I love to see it. 
awesome to have a game like this between these two players. Light, or not light, sorry. Flash just pushing right on in uh, to the natural here, or into the main, excuse me. The mines are going to start to connect on a lot of this stuff, but we still got Reaver. There's still a hope here with the Reaver. Five kill Reaver, picking off a lot of these vultures, uh, preventing the uh, probes from going down at least. The tanks are not close enough to actually start hitting that. They are able to hit the gateways, but they can't quite hit everything else. He's just dropping here. Uh, to start killing off vultures as they pop out of the factories, which is amazing. Oh, dodge. Okay, nice dodge. We'll be able to dodge that. Keep that uh, one reaver alive. There are... Oh, where's the... Uh, where's the shuttle? Okay, it actually went out of the main. It's giving Flash a little bit of opportunity to come back and start to mine here. We're losing gateways. Reaver gonna land, try to kill some more SCVs right now. But it's still looking dire. I mean, there's 26 workers to 47. If Snow could break this, he would actually be in a great position. Just send probes over to this base and uh, saturate it immediately. But he's losing all of his gateways. That he can't really produce right now. This Reaver is still being annoying in the main. It's kind of hilarious. Kind of hilarious that it's still alive right there. He's not dropping it because he doesn't want to take any damage to just units that are popping out. Waiting, making sure that Flash can't mine off of his main. Ooh, a great Scarab connection there. Actually hitting some of the tanks as well. Oh no, it didn't deal any damage to those tanks. Looked like it was going to deal damage. Ooh, gets one shot off. Not bad, not bad. Reaver taking quite a bit of damage. This Reaver still alive in the main. So funny. That one has so many kills right now. Is he going to drop it? He really should. Another mine connection there. The gateways are almost all gone at this point, guys. We've got a few SCVs here, and Snow is too busy in his main base to deal with that, or to do anything with that. He should be dropping that any moment. Just kill those SCVs and get rid of them. Another shot on another tank. He does kill another one. There's still way more probes here than SCVs. There's that Reaver finally. 23, 24, 25 kills now. Only three tanks in this army. If he just gets out a few more gateways. Look at him. He's building gateways at the back of his base. This is getting so close to Snow's main now. It's crazy. Gonna fly in with the Reaver. Can he get one big drop here? Nope. Gonna fly back out. That was a little bit ill-advised. Flying into that natural. He noticed that the tank had been pulled. So he goes ahead and tries it. But going to just keep denying the main base from getting mined. Flash is shoving in. He's actually hitting the gas now, which is a real problem for Snow. He's still got 700 gas, but you can't win this with just pure Zealot, I don't think. Going to drop out one Zealot. Take another pot shot on the tank. He gets two tanks with one hit. Let's see if he can do one more good shot. Ah, I can't really dodge right now. Couldn't dodge the tank shots, and he will lose the Reaver, and there goes the gas as well. This one Reaver in the main is stupidly low, but it still has enough health to keep this fight going. Can he actually run forward here? One more Reaver! Oh, he gets another tank, and another... Oh, he gets another tank. That's huge. Where's the Reaver in the main? I don't know what happened to it. It might have gotten picked off. Where's the shuttle? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. He's going to drop right on top of this and just go for the SCVs here. Oh, God. He's dealing so much damage. So much damage here in the main. He picks up the Reaver once again, forcing the SCVs to be pulled down to just 17 to 43. It's crazy. But I think that Snow might just barely be able to win this game. Another tank shows up here. Now four tanks at the front. Reaver over here on the right-hand side needs to be picked up. He needs to pick that up. Oh, he's going to drop probes and zealots to try and draw mines. Oh, there we go. He gets one more tank. One more tank kill. Can he get it? No, this tank stays alive. 13 kills on that. He loses the Reaver. Oh, my God. He lost the Reaver. The Reaver went down. GG. He, he leaves the game with this Reaver still in the shuttle. That is wild. Flash takes this game. What an incredible, wacky, insane back and forth between these two. You love to see it. Flash 
if you just build two more turrets, man, you can't be pulled apart like that. He almost lost this because of his decision to just not build enough turrets in that main base. And Snow almost brought this back from the brink of defeat. He ran out of minerals in the end. As you can see, he had so many probes mining. You know, Flash wasn't even close. He had all his probes mining on the natural, but he only had 17 probes total, whereas Snow had like 40. If there was a hidden base somewhere out on the map for Snow, like let's say he didn't take this as his base. Maybe he took this one, had a probe down there, and had built a base down there. He probably would have been able to win this game, um, eventually overcome this army. So funny that he even built... Uh, gateways back here to contest this or to keep building units to try and break this but ridiculous uh conclusion to this game with flash on what's this four tanks pushing in for the win against snow who's defending with one reaver and like two dragoons and a zealot it's just wild you can't make this shit up guys we're gonna jump into game number two for some more awesome awesome snow versus flash gameplay Wow, what an incredible game, that last one. Snow just barely not able to put that one away. Flash coming out on top in the end, but I gotta say, the writers of the Snow versus Flash fan fiction have gone a little bit overboard this season. This shit is getting just too wild. It's not even believable anymore. How the hell... Did they think we were going to uh, believe that this was a real F Snow vs. Flash game? It's crazy! What is actually going on? These two players throwing the entire kitchen sink at each other and winning with barely more than a couple of units. You know, three, four units at the end on either side. <laughs> so ridiculous. It is really over the top gotta dial it back a little bit make it a little bit more believable for our viewers because this is this is too much guys well we're jumping into game number two with all jokes aside we've got flash down here in the bottom left opening with another barracks on high ground important to note because he had been when he came back from his hiatus when he came back from the military. He was really relying on Gasless Fast Expand a lot. He played a lot of Gasless Fast Expand and found mixed results with that build. Now, it seems like he's adapting more to the current TVP meta, sticking with these quicker refineries, getting out that earlier Vulture and a vulture expanding more often than not so that's good to see also good to see him being very aggressive in the early game and putting pressure on the protoss player uh, rather than sitting back and trying to you know macro like he once would you know all those years back in uh the old asl days of flash like when he was able to beat uh, Snow in the ASL was his last appearance in that ASL, so he's still kind of, he was still kind of playing like it was that old Snow versus Flash series, not realizing that the meta had changed so much. It's good to see him sort of adapt and find new, interesting, creative ways to play it out as well. Like hiding those factories was a pretty interesting move. Just really wish he would have built a couple more turrets. It would have been an easy closer for him if he had done that. Looks like the SUV will make it away with just 5 HP. Actually crazy that that's going to make it back home. Or no, it won't because the uh, Dragoon is going to come out and just finish it. Boom. There it is. At least he knows where the Protoss is. Uh, it's not really saying much, but I guess bare minimum. One Marine going to go down for the trade uh, of the Zealot. Got to start that barracks right away because both these marines are very low and the rush distance is quite short so the dragon's gonna arrive way before this bunker is done we've only got one vulture one marine gonna fall immediately and that vulture will slip out on the map gotta keep that one marine alive there we go he does keep that alive 
to load up into the bunker. The third Marine going to make its way down here. And now with the Vulture out on the map, we do need to retreat home with this Dragoon. Very important that we do not allow that first Vulture to sneak in or come and get mines in this area or anything like that. Second Dragoon will be out in a moment to sit on this ramp. And the Vulture just going to obfuscate on the map. Nothing out of the ordinary going down so far for either of these players. Just a little bit of early game skirmishing. That'll lead to no significant advantage for one player or the other. Vulture. When its mines are complete, we'll see mines over here. Maybe even a mine up here or this natural. And then a few mines around these areas to start to cage in this Protoss player, at least until he gets his observers out to finally clear those so that he can expand further. Flash floating out his barracks. Kind of an awkward direction. Wasn't expecting that, but... Maybe wants to get vision over this area. Or he's just going to keep vision over here to see when the shuttle comes in. We've got that observatory on the way. Second gateway finishing up. And so we are going to have a pretty significant... Uh, Dragoon and Observer Army out pretty darn soon. The Reaver is probably going to come, but it'll be coming quite a bit later. And then a normal rush into Reaver. Instead of focusing on getting a good standing army that can deal with any sort of push-outs like what we saw in the last game. That Marine single tank and Vulture push just not really that strong when you've lost a few Marines and he's lost a significant amount. He's lost two Marines and he's almost dead on this third Marine. So pushing out right now, probably not going to be an option here for Flash. He will decide to take a more easy approach, get the engineering bay down, keep pumping out tanks and just control the map with mines. It's a reasonable decision here from Flash, and he has speed done already. With an armory on the way. No siege mode just yet, though. He's relying on the fact that he can counter-stab the Protoss. Uh, if the Protoss sends all of his dragons across the map, he could get a huge amount of damage with those. He's actually going to try and run in here. This is maybe ill-advised. He will get past the dragoons. And might end up getting a few probes. Let's see how many he gets. Two already. Three. Four. Four. Four total probes for three vultures. That's definitely worth it. But it could have gone massively wrong had uh, Snow shifted his dragoons just slightly over to block the vultures from running by. They were running past dragoons that were almost blocking this area but just barely not quite so pretty big risk there ends up paying off for flash but not in a huge way not in a massive lead it's just giving him a slight edge here and it's actually evened out the worker count so that's pretty good for the Terran. the third factory is being added Let's see how many factories he will go to before taking an extra base. Looks like the Nexus coming up here at the 6 o'clock. Now, most Protoss players aren't expecting this Nexus to stay up forever. But if the Terran player wants to take his own third, he'll probably take it here. And then take some time before pushing out. And if you're mining here, th this should eventually go to Terran. So if you mine out a bunch of the resources from these mineral patches... That's going to be beneficial to you later on. Dragoon, Reaver, landed here in the main base. Good pulling back from Flash, making sure he doesn't take any damage from this. Has turrets, but they're very defensive. Not a ring of turrets, but... Just some point defense here and there. Tanks setting up everywhere. Making sure it's not easy to dive on top of this, but he's going to drop a Dragoon on the two tanks... On this side, he does eat a pretty big shot from that one tank. So he gets a tank, but he takes quite a bit of damage on the Reaver. What I was trying to say is eating up these minerals right now is going to mean that... 
Terran will get fewer resources from this location later, should he decide to take that. That'll usually be the fourth... Fourth base location for the Terran player. He's actually going to come out and challenge this now. But Snow will eventually set up center right. Ooh, loses the Reaver. Uh-oh. Well, now this tank army can move a lot quicker over here to this high ground. And another Dragoon goes down there. We have another Reaver. We don't have any Zealots, though. He's going to pull probes, realizing that he's not going to be able to get much money off of this. And he sends out another probe to go take the base in the center right. Yeah, this is not going well for Snow. I understand the idea. I know that he wants to suck up some of the minerals from this location. And that it'll make it hard for the Terran player to push up here by using the Reavers. But that was hardly any minerals. He barely got anything off of this. It's almost not even worth it for the cost of the Nexus. And especially not worth it for the, the wasted uh, mining time that came from him, you know, not mining while the uh, probes were transferring. Reaver's doing a pretty good job, but Flash will beat this. Eventually, he's going to take this out. He loses the Reaver. Very well done by Flash. Going to continue to push forward here, killing off this Nexus and pushing right up into the natural. Oh my god, is he just going to roll straight through? What are we at? We're at, oh wow, six factories back at home to just the six gateways of Snow. Now, Snow... He can take a fight against this. Oh my god, that position is so good. Flash going to bring tanks down here to try and deal with that. But he gets two big shots off without losing the Reaver. More dragons going down. Snow or Flash is so aggressive and Snow is almost going to fall apart. Does pick off the vultures that are trying to run in right now, which is great. But the tank number is getting higher and higher. And I don't see that many gateway units coming out to suppress this. Dropping the Dragoon here. He tries to get the mines to connect, but he at least gets rid of the uh, Goliath. So he can keep flying over top with the shuttle. Need to go back, pick up a Zealot, try to drop it on top. Get a couple of good mine connections. It's desperation mode right now for Snow. Can he make something happen here? Drop in on top of the tanks, trying to get rid of them the best that he can. Target fire going down onto the... Uh, Reaver, but he's doing a great job juggling it between the tank shots. He manages to keep the Reaver alive. But this is still a very difficult position. Two more Zealots going to pop out. Can he actually start to kill off these tanks? He gets one. Going to get another here. Dropping a Zealot on top of this tank. He eats a bunch of damage. Another Reaver's out here. That Reaver goes down, though, just in between the tanks. And I think this is about to be lights out. Flash has done it. With some very crisp six factory pushing. Oh my goodness. That mine too. Abs. So painful. So painful. GG. Looks like Snow's going to tap out. I did take a look at this translation, but I couldn't make heads or tails of it. I know that Flash said after this that he wasn't streaming. And I think that uh, Snow said shit something like that yeah he says i'm not streaming and he said crap gg he leaves the game wow what an incredible performance by flash in both these games some minor mistakes in the first game but the overall push the theory from him was just great he did an awesome job shutting down snow's normal uh, reaver shuttle style in a way that I don't think many Terran players on Earth could do right now. Like, you're never going to see Barracks pull something like this off, right? You're never going to see... I don't know. Who else can we mention? Like, Royal might be able to do something like this. Maybe Light could pull it off occasionally. But most of the amateur Terran players are not going to be able to do this to Snow. And, F I mean, Flash has only been back for about a month now. Maybe two months maximum. And he's already taking down Snow two games in a row like this on ladder. Really impressive stuff. You know that Snow knows who this is. And you know that he's going to be playing his A game when he sees that he's up against Flash. But 
flash taking these two games it's a huge boost and i'm sure that a lot of you guys are out out there thinking man flash is back i'm not a hundred percent sure that that's the case that he is a uh, totally back on the horse just yet there are some minor mistakes he's not looking like mr perfect you know god tier flash that we are used to from the past but he is looking strong and we're going to continue to cover his return to the scene guys thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the subscribe video if you haven't already and hit the like if you want to see brood war live forever that's it for me and i'll see you tomorrow